Well, we just want to welcome you to Westside this morning. So glad you're joining us, whether you're in the room or in uh, online with us. Uh, super excited to worship with you today. Let's go ahead and stand as we do so. can have my yes with no exception laying down my rights to second guessing well you can have my yes giving you my fear of never knowing whatever's coming next I know you got me well you can have my yes you're the light, you're the cloud that guides me. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the life inside of me. You conquered my fear, so I'll leave it all behind. And I'm running to the light. Giving you my dreams and my ambition. Your presence is my pride. I'll answer when you ask. We could come again if you are for me. Cause even in the fire, I know you got me. I'm giving you my yes again. You're the air, you're the light, you're the cloud that guides me. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the Wherever you are, wherever you want to go, I'll follow. Oh, wherever you are, wherever you want to go, I'll follow you. Well, I'll follow you. grace. 
see possessed have a seat. What a week it has been. Like after days buried in the snow, it's good to see some of you guys in person again. Uh, and if you did try to venture out late this past week in all the snow, I hope you didn't run into the same situation, situation I did. Not far from home, while I was pulling out of our neighborhood, my wheels started to spin. Like you probably know that feeling, but they kept spinning and kept spinning and I could tell I was losing control. And getting no traction, my van gradually drifted across the road and slipped into a ditch. I managed to stop it before it went all the way, but I was clearly stuck. And at first, I wasn't too worried, right? This is not my first rodeo. Like, I'm not new to the snow. I was prepared. Like, I had a shovel. I had salt. I had our snowblower in the back of the van. I was ready to go. Uh, but no matter what I did, I couldn't break myself free. So there I was, stuck in the cold on the side of the road, futilely spinning my wheels on the ice. And this week I couldn't help but be reminded of another man stuck on the side of a road. Things hadn't gone the way he had planned. He felt like he was stuck and alone, spinning his wheels, going through the motions of life, but knowing something was missing, knowing he needed more. And so when he heard this guy Jesus was gonna come to town, he wanted to go see if he could catch a glimpse. So he went, and he couldn't see, so he climbed up in a tree to see what he could see, and he looked out. <laughs> that was on, on accident. <laughs> Old school song about this guy. <laughs> Just came out that way. So Jesus walked up, and something incredible happened. He stopped, and he looked up into that tree, and he saw him, and he called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, I am going to your house today. 
Whether you're in a good place this morning or you are stuck spinning your wheels, this time that we set aside for communion is so important because it's a chance for us to remember that you can't get unstuck on your own. For me, on the side of the road, spinning my wheels in the ice, it took a good Samaritan stopping who had some heavy-duty tires who could pull me out. For Zacchaeus, it was Jesus walking by and seeing through the facade that he had put up, seeing that he needed help and calling him by name and inviting him to come and follow. If you are spinning your wheels today and you've chased after achievements that have left you unfulfilled or you're stuck in a cycle of mistakes or addictions, Jesus sees you and he's inviting you in. If you're in the room, you should have received bread and juice on your way in. If you're online, you can grab something from nearby. And after we pray, you're welcome to take the bread and the juice as you're ready. But as you do, take a moment and allow God to fully see you. Allow him to see you completely, mistakes and all, and listen as he calls you by name and invites you to come and follow. God, we thank you for Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross that allows us to be here in your presence this morning. And God, we thank you that you are bigger than any obstacle, than any addiction, than any trap that could be holding us back and keeping us stuck. And God, we thank you that you love us so much that you are right here with us today, ready to call us by name. It's your name that we pray.
There is no higher name. 